we've had to endure so much that at times it has seemed too great a grief to bear. And now the stroke of death has taken the very one who has been our citadel, our rock, and our tower of strength at this deadly moment in our country's history. Amidst this great upheaval, when our people are so fearful of the future, they have looked to leaders like Jackson and Mtembu for reassurance and for certainty. As the minister in the presidency, he was the public face of our government communications as it communicated its policies and its decisions. During the pandemic, Minister Jackson Mtembu carried our message of compassion and solidarity and unity across the nation. He was at the forefront of our national effort to contain the coronavirus pandemic, the very pandemic that has now claimed his life. When we found ourselves close to despair as a people and as a nation, he offered hope. When our nation's spirits were down and flagging, he was one of those who lifted them. He brought clarity and certainty and utmost professionalism to every task he was assigned. He was a man who was greatly respected and loved. Loved by his family, by his community here in Ackerville, by his colleagues in cabinet, by his comrades in the ANC, by his fellow members of parliament, and by his friends, as we had earlier. Also by those he dealt with in the media, with whom he had a long-standing and cordial relationship. I have lost not just a dependable colleague and a comrade, I have lost a dear friend, and it is a loss that I feel most keenly. Minister Mtembu had many virtues that I observed over the many years of our working together and of our friendship. He was generous in spirit and had a charming personality as all those who interacted with him and met him will be able to testify. He had the enduring ability to lift anybody's mood, including my mood, and to fortify my resolve in even the most difficult situations. But above many other things, Jackson Mtembu was an honest man who never hesitated to speak up for what he believed to be right, no matter what the cost to him himself personally. His life was full of meaning and accomplishment in the way he dedicated himself to serve the people of our country. I will remember him for his kindness, his professional approach, but above all, for his ever-present sense of calm, even in a crisis on when we would be going through extreme pressure. 